Hemos are like a good lover. Or a great sandwich. You better be willing. Are you just hungry, Juan? Hello, my friend. Supremos aren't just simple tools of destruction, Danny. Let's take a look at that Supremo. The special ingredient that makes this all happen. Pick a gadget, Danny. This is a safe space. There's no wrong answer here. Excellent. Now go talk to Clara. Time to give that Supremo a workout. Hey, compadre. Vive Libertad! Now go talk to Clara. Time to put that Supremo to use, guerrilla. I don't need to tell you that Viviro is a life. Hit that slave camp hard. Suerte. Supremo. Now, if things get too heavy with the soldados, just pull the trigger. But one tiny, tiny thing you should know. Uh-huh. The Supremos are in an experimental phase. They need time to breathe after you use them. You know, so they don't overload and kill you. Could have told me before I strap one to my back. Just let that Supremo feed off the blood of your enemies. What? <laughs> You'll get it, Danny. <laughs> You'll get it. What are you looking at? Finally. Listen, I'm not going to bullshit you. I wanted to do this alone, but Clara gave me an order. I can handle myself. Don't give a shit. So could Lita. She should be here right now, but instead, I get you. And I'm supposed to be in Miami. But instead, my two best friends are dead, and I'm stuck here with you. So, truce? Enough talk. Step one, we hit the tobacco. Step two, we destroy their poison supply. Step three, we get the fuck out of there, and Castillo gets a nice pretty message from Libertad. Got it. Take this gear. It'll protect you from fire, and more importantly, Castillo's fucking poison.
Using the right protective gear in the right situation will keep you alive. Yeah, the right tool for the right job. Been hearing that a lot lately. Listen, Julio. Lita was like a sister to me. She shouldn't have been on that fucking boat. She died because of you, Rojas. No. Anton Castillo killed Lita. If I could change anything, it would be me dying on that beach. Lita was a better person than I could ever be. And if she loved you, well, that just says a lot about who you are. Enough. Look, if you and I are going to do this, we need to know about the poison. You mean that shit they spray on the leaves? Its real name is PG-240, but we call it the poison because it fucks up your system. Try not to breathe it or get it on your skin. It can make you go fucking crazy or sick, like deep down sick. And if that doesn't get you, the cancer that grows inside you will. Goño. So you're military. Marksman? Closest all? What's your thing? I'm good with guns. We get along. We'll start thinking. That gear I gave you is good for fire and poison, but guerrillas need gear that fits their style, no matter the situation, or they get themselves killed. This is a good place to scout it. Right behind you. Let's see what we're up against. Here, Dali. Should kill the alarm. See the Viviro tobacco and the yellow poison tanks? See. Si. Punch holes in the tanks to let the poison out into the air. Fun fact, poison and fire make a hell of a mix. Big boom. Same idea with the fumigators. They're hard to kill, but they can't take the heat. You've got a flamethrower. You've got that Supremo. Time to fuck up all this Viviro bullshit. You know... Lita and I had a ritual. Oh, well, I 
Hey. Shit. You really can hold your own. I don't want to say I told you so, but... Look, we should move. That was a hell of a light show, and they're going to see the smoke. We work well together. See, si. Listen, if you were good with Lita, you're good with me. Gracias, Danny. Meet you back at camp. Oye, Clara, I hope you can see the smoke from where you are. You struck a blow against Castillo today. I hope Julio wasn't too rough on you. He's hurting, but okay. I think Lita would be smiling right now. Danny, there's someone I want you to meet. His name is Benito. He's a local fisherman, which means boats for Libertad. He lives on the east side of Casas Cove. Always got time to make new friends. You're building bridges for me, Danny. It's your gift. We need Benito. doing that since I was a kid. You're in the big leagues now. You need a car? Just call for one. I'll have a friend bring it right to you. Gracias. But you don't have any friends, Juan. Just shut up and call for a car, Danny.
Here's your wheels. Got here as fast as I could. What? This is a nice car. That's not a car, Danny. That is a 1956 Pullman Valentina. She's a work of art. Just like me. It's a title that a ram welded to my chassis to fuck up anyone who gets in your way. You're definitely one of a kind. Is that a problem? Just be careful. The soldiers there are better equipped and better trained. Find some high ground and scout out the enemy. Got it, Clara. No surprises. A guerrilla only gets surprised once, Danny. Suerte. Yeah, going to pay his friend Rosario a little visit. Just be careful. She's not going to be alone. Do some scouting before you go. Remember, rule number nine. Right to the right job. Rule number ten. Shut the fuck up. You're an adult and can make your own decisions. Spread your wings and fly, little bird. Commandante isn't here. Rosario's not here. She has to be at the other side. I think my Supremo can kill that tank. Or maybe I can steal it. Takes care of Rosario. Adios, asshole. Benito, you won't be seeing Rosario anymore. You're saltier than you look, Danny. Libertas is turning things around, but the job's not done. Head to the fuel station and finish it.
Heading to the fuel depot. Benito wants me to take it back from the army. It's an FND base level. Danica only has pieces of the Soriana. We want freedom. We need to break their grip on the island. I'll do what I can, Clara. Clara, I'm at the depot. Libertad needs that fuel. So taking that depot isn't just about dealing with the army. It also means securing that gasoline. You got to do the smart, Danny. Find some high ground and use your phone to scout out cameras and alarms. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Okay, Benito. Rosario is dead. And the fuel is flowing again. See, si, carajo. I admit, I got my doubts about Clara. But I never doubted you, compai. I know a thing or two about looking out for your own. Tell Clara I'm heading to her camp. She's got our boats and our support. Gracias, Danny. Benito's back on your side. He's on his way to you right now. Shit, Hola. Danny, gracias. Now get, you now get your ass back to camp. Time to get off this island. Just remember our deal. I've paid my rent and then so. One of those boats has me sailing to Miami. I keep my word, Danny. How about we change history first?
You want us to take down Anton's ships? We're goddamn fishermen. Then leave us to die again, compai. What are you doing? Try it. It's fun. What's the plan, Hefa? For Anton to see us from the fucking capital? Yes. Well, it's working. You've got 20 minutes until Anton's forces come. So you better start running. Go! I said, run! Rules of the guerrilla, Juan Cortez. A revolution is not won by the fearless. Is won by the feared. What does Anton Castillo fear? Free elections, free expression, free outcasts. Ayara free of Castillos. But he will fear nothing. Unless you are willing to die for your freedom today. Not when we have more believers or more guns. Today. Because today I'm going to put a hole through Castillo's warships. I am not fearless. I am scared as hell. But I promise you one thing. I will be feared. Viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Let's go home, Grias. Does she know what she's doing? Who cares, Danny? She knows what we need. See you from the sky, guerrilla. You get that chopper up and running? See, si, but there's an anti aircraft cannon blocking the airspace around Castillo's warships. Okay, Juan. I'll take it out. Sirio, because if it gets me, I'll make sure my fiery corpse comes down on you like a meteor. Don't worry. I'm a friend. speech you gave. Listen to me. Whatever happens now, I wanted to thank you. For everything you've done for Libertad, and for me. Thank me once we've blasted through Castillo's blockade. See you on the other side, Danny. <laughs> ah!
officer. Hey, Juan, anti-Arkov cannons out. The sky is yours. Now go get those ships, and Juan will be your avenging angel of death. Whatever. As long as you got my back. <laughs> I've got your back, a fresh cigar, and 12,000 rounds of divine wrath. Vamos a echando! Si un día la vida la castigara y arrepentida a mi volviera Una y mil veces le gritaría, no me interesa que tú me quieras, ver a la amarga verdad desnuda, como tatuaje sobre tu pecho, cuando en tu alma sientas la duda, pagarás todo lo que me has hecho. Clara, I'm close to Castillo's ships. Muy bien, Danny. You'll be boarding those ships as our assault element. Julio, where are you? I'm in the lighthouse, sitting pretty with an RPG in perfect line of sight to the ships. Want to hear your voice, Raisa? Top of the tower, round in the chamber, scope dialed in. Juan? Buckle up, guerrillas! Air Juan is in the skies and my bullets are hungry! Remember, we take those ships and we punch a fucking hole straight to our island. We get one shot at this, Libertad. See you on the other side. Danny, you want to use your camera to check out the defenses on those ships. Look before you leap. If Lita was with us now, she'd be smiling. And halfway to those ships already. If Lita was here, I'd kick her ass for keeping you a secret. Take care of yourself, Julio.
Ti espressa! Plenty of targets to go around once! So easy.
Clara, it's over. Let's get the fuck out of here. We couldn't have done it without you, Danny. We're not done yet. I'm going to hang back, set charges, and make sure those ships are blown to shit. Check in when you're done, Julio. Copy that. Danny, I'm on my way to pick you up. Where are you, Clara? Viva Libertad, Danny. Hell of a fireworks show. Had to give you credit, Clara. You fucking did it. We did it, Danny. That was the difference. What's your plan when you reach America? Me and my friend Alejo were going to work shit jobs until we could scrape up some money. Open a body shop. If the Yankee blockade taught us anything, it's how to keep things running when you got nothing. That's the dream? Sure, Yankees might pay you to park their cars or pick their fruit, but you'll never be one of them. The American dream doesn't come in our color. Okay, if we're shitting on dreams, what are you going to do if you win, Presidente Garcia? The next president won't last six months before they are assassinated. Wait, what? It's the truth. Won't free elections solve that? What happened to your list? It's a vision, Danny. But I'm not as naive as you think. This revolution will free Yara, but won't fix it. When we take the capital, Yara will be burning. It will be civil war, factions, warlords, foreign-backed coups. Take your pick. Yarans will be killing Yarans for a generation. Uh-huh. This fight will take the rest of my life. Yara is stuck in a cycle of tyranny and revolution. My job is to show us how to break it. This isn't a dream, is it? You have to do this. What makes you say that? No one would choose this. No, Danny. Everyone who follows me, who joins Libertad, chooses this. But you know, I can't really see you stocking shelves in one of those giant Yankee supermarkets. <laughs> Fuck you. No, no, no. I just think you'd look good in a little uniform, name tag, maybe a fancy apron. Leave me out of your fantasies, Clara. Bienvenidos a mi casa. My favorite guerrillas. I missed my island. Tonight we celebrate. I'm sorry, Hefa. What's wrong? Julio never checked in. Either that will kill you fucking through your eyes! Fedors! Criminales! Puta. Mio, the difference between a true yarn and a fake yarn eh, can be hard to see, but it's there. A true yarn understands that loyalty to country is key to his survival. Not justice, not love. Not even family. Loyalty to a vision that looks beyond themselves. Come mierda. Fake yarns love to be the outcasts. They are addicted to their selfish perversions. Chaos. Lies. Like wild dogs. But dogs can be broken. They can serve paradise. And if a dog refuses to break like Julio here, like Clara Garcia, like Libertad, then we must put them down. Papa! You've proved your point. Put Julio down. This is a difficult step to paradise, Mio. I understand. But when you achieve our vision, 
I promise you, there will be no more steps. I'm coming, Lita. Fine. Then, enjoy the show. <laughs> Julio checked in. Proof of death. Join your friend Lita and a suite hereafter. I keep my promises, Danny. You wanted a boat, you got a boat. It's a beautiful piece of shit, but it'll get you to a Yankee beach. One with the naked fatties. You two are just gonna let me leave. Bullshit. You could have sold us out a long time ago. You're my best kid here. I can't promise you victory, I can't even promise you survival. What I can promise you is this. You are the lucky one. That usually work. 50-50. Nipinga. I bet this fucking boat will sink halfway to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> 